Hi there, let's have a look at the different glacial landforms caused by erosion. Starting with Arets. These are narrow, steep ridges that form when two glaciers flowing in parallel valleys erode the sides of their valley. Pyramidal peaks. Pyramidal peaks are pointed with three or more sides. They're formed when three or more glaciers erode down different sides of a mountain. Hanging valleys. These are formed by smaller glaciers that join up with the main glacier. Because the smaller glacier erodes less powerfully, its valley is much shallower. Ribbon lakes. These are long, thin lakes that form in hollows in glacial troughs when the glacier retreats. Let's quickly recap those. So the different glacial landforms that we've covered so far are pyramidal peaks, hanging valleys, ribbon lakes, and barrens. Ribbon lakes are long, thin lakes that form in hollows in glacial troughs when the glacier retreats. Now let's quickly look at the more kinds of glacial landforms caused by erosion. So corries. Corries are steep armchair shaped hollows with a lip at the bottom end. They're formed by a rotational slip of small glaciers. Tarns are small circular lakes left behind in corries when glaciers melt. Glacial trough. Valleys with steep sides and flat floors. They gradually become wider and deeper. And finally, truncated spurs. They, these are the sheer faces on the side of glacial troughs and they're formed when spurs are cut off as the glacier progresses. So tarns are small circular lakes left behind in where when glaciers melt. The correct answer is corries. They're left behind in corries when glaciers melt. Let's quickly recap some of those different glacial landforms. So a corry is a steep armchair shaped hollow with a lip at the bo bottom end. A truncated spur is, has cliff-like edges on the side of glacial troughs. Glacial trough is a steep, steep valley with um, flat valley floors and tarns are small circular lakes left behind in quarries when glaciers melt. How many sides do pyramidal peaks have? The correct answer is three or more.